Welcome to today's Hangout for Peace. We have talked a lot about living together in harmony and peace. But today I want to emphasize more on living together in harmony and peace despite our difference in faiths and many other aspects of life. Accepting your neighbor despite the weakness and different personality is one of the key things that we have to do. Yes, the neighbor might be different from you. He might be thinking different from you. He might be worshipping different from you. But then you have to accept him because it is that variance that gives us harmony in life. Then we can try to seek friendship with these neighbors, especially when they are in need. Sometimes some neighbors tend to be difficult. Of course, there's no one who is difficult. But maybe the behaviors are difficult. But when someone is in need, you'll find that you will get room to try and seek friendship, bring him closer to you. Then this way, you will be in a position to invite him into your life. And this is the third point, inviting him into your life by welcoming him into your home or rather initiating greetings. You know, when you stretch your hand to shake it to someone, you'll be in a position to initiate that friendship aspect. This person can be in a position to be invited into your heart. And this way, the friend uh, and you will be in a position to live in harmony or rather at peace. Now, we have a biggest struggle in life. We try to make other people to fit in our shape. But this is bad, I think, because someone cannot be exactly what you are. Or rather, someone cannot be the way you are. You know, God created us all unique and in his own likeness. Let us try not to change other people. Can we leave that to God because God is the one who created us? Just accept the person as he is. You play your part. Accommodate this person. Accommodate him and pray for him. The Bible tells us so. We should uh, pray for them that persecute us. We should love them. We should embrace them. So try and pray for him. And then you have the love of God. I have the love of God. Why don't we share this love to the neighbor just as God shared his love to us by giving his son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us? Remember, our relationship with God was cut because of the sinful nature of man. But God, out of divine mercy, divine love, chose to bring Jesus Christ to come and die for us. That is a big thing that God did. He shared his love to us. Why don't we extend the same? and share it to others. We have to learn to live in harmony with our neighbors. By the way, somewhere we read, peace I give to you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives. These are not my words, but they are words that were said by Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Why don't you try and live in peace? Do it. You will see the fruits. Thank you.